Hello there everyone. I am just going to record a very short video for you showing off the and many more stamp set that is in the new mini catalog. Isn't he cute? Um, that little golfer guy is in there and we can take a look at everything else that's in there. Um, the golfer guy, the 3R checklist, hope your day is perfect and many more. Happy Father's Day, the mower and relax, and um, also the happy birthday that I put on the front of the card. So taking a look at the card, I'll just go through it with you, show you what I've done to make the card, and hopefully you can recreate it yourself. All right, for the edge here, that's Riding Hood Red. That's a strip of the Chocolate Girl Green. I think the Riding Hood Red is like an inch and a half by five and a quarter. And then just cut your Girl Green ribbon to match that size. Onto the little golfer guy. Oh, I really like him. Watercolor paper. Um, I think 275 by three is your inch size. Um, I stamped the little golfer guy in black stays on. That is really the best if you want to do watercoloring. I watercolored, obviously, you can see using the aqua painter. The colors for watercoloring that I used Baja Blue and not quite navy work great together. Chocolate chip for the shirt, cameo coral for the um, face and arms and legs. The socks are Baja Breeze again. Um, the shoes, the golf club, and the golf ball, all very carefully use your basic gray. Your basic gray, since it is a color that really doesn't want to watercolor, doesn't watercolor very well. So use very little color, and then um, you can, you know, you really are just painting on color. You can't watercolor with it. And then for the grass, on to a little bit of Kiwi Kiss. All right, back to the whole image. It's two and three fourths by three. Then the chocolate chip is three by three and a quarter. And then onto the Kiwi Kiss, uh, what? Three and a quarter by three and a half. So each time up to by a quarter of an inch. Um, a little scrap of <coughs> the watercolor paper. Um, don't really know the size of that, but just the scrap that when I cut off the piece for the golfer guy that was left over stamped the happy birthday in the black stays on again um, for the little button there it is just one of these buttons and then feed through the center one of the small corduroy buttons the corduroy buttons have three sizes they have this size they also have the big button or the big brad size and then they also have a very small brad size. So just feed the two tines of the back of the brad in, you separate those two ends, poke them through the buttonhole and then if you want to look on my card you can see it's quite raised up. You can actually see the bit of the brad behind there um, and I stuck it on using a dimensionals. Back to the golfer guy. The chocolate chip is stuck to Kiwi Kiss using dimensionals as well. Um, I don't know, when there's one raised image, I like to have a couple. And I think that is basically it. The card is made from craft, eight and a half inch cardstock, so it is cut um, 11 by four and a quarter. I don't know if I can get that all in there, and then just folded in half. I hope you like him. He's for somebody special. My dad's birthday is this week. And um, he doesn't really look like this golfer guy, but I think that'll work great. Have an awesome day.